Our next item on the information part of our agenda is an update on our advisory groups. And um, Dr. Swift, would you like to introduce this item, please? Thank you, Madam President and trustees. You have a little set of handouts if you uh, can find that, trustees. And uh, Ms. Halton and Mr. Cluley have up this area of the website. I appreciate uh, Trustee Gaynor in particular helping me to recognize that this area needed work. I want to be clear that, um, first of all, and folks may not recognize it, but doing our advisory groups represents our value in the community that we believe that we can improve our work through input and feedback and participation of students, of staff, of parents, of community members. So I want to point out, trustees, the non-blue ones on your list have been standing advisory groups for extended uh, periods of time. We had the 2015 bond advisory groups, um, and there were about four of those that, that have been functioning for about three years. Um, my Blue Ribbon Community Leaders group uh, has functioned since 2013. Uh, the evaluation advisory, I've, I've lost track of exactly when they started, but it was around 2015 or 16. Um, and then our comprehensive daily high school schedule advisory group uh, began last spring uh, and have been working through this year. Our international baccalaureate advisory group has been going uh, since about 2014, and then uh, trustees, I expect that they're going to have soon another iteration of that group focused on the career program. So that's just a preview of coming attractions. Um, but we're really excited tonight to really look at four new advisory groups. These are our 2018 batch of advisory groups, and these are forming right now. So I wanted to highlight this evening our uh, district assessment advisory. They had their first meeting last night uh, at the Ballas uh, Central location. About 30 individuals attended and participated. Um, they will have two more meetings, and then they are scheduled, uh, trustees, as you know, to go back to planning uh, as uh, Chair Manny uh, Manly uh, is anticipating them bringing back their report on the assessment month-by-month -month calendar, and then that is coming back to the board. The second uh, newly launched uh, advisory group is the Environmental Sustainability Group. I want to point out, trustees, that when you click on these links, some of them do have a membership list, but I want to share that some of them don't have a membership list here. We've sent out all of our invitations. We typically like to have two or three meetings because sometimes folks will say, you know what, the schedule doesn't work for me, or I thought I had enough time, but I don't. And so don't be alarmed, trustees, if these, you will see some that say preliminary membership. You will see some that are not up yet. This environmental sustainability one is a preliminary list, um, and you can see all of the community and staff and parents and folks that have um, signed on to be on that, but again, we'll get that firmed up by the end of the year. Emil Azana will be uh, holding that group. I hope to join them on many months, um, but they are meeting on Monday, May 7th and Monday, June 4th. Um, our next newly launched group, or about to be launched group this spring, is our Freeman Environmental Learning Center. And I want to point out that Ms. Bacalor has been working, trustees, with an internal work team. And then in the next month, they'll be branching out to make it into also uh, an advisory group that will have uh, community members and parents and environmentalists from all over. And there's a lot of excitement and energy around both the District Environmental Sustainability Group and the Freeman Group. 
And we have one person who's agreed, Danny Ezekiel, to serve on both of those because we wanted to make sure that the two groups were connected. Uh, so he has agreed to be the emissary ambassador, or whatever word that will uh, go back and forth between the two. Uh, another one, I'm so glad Mary Dirksen is here, and I will see you tomorrow morning also, but uh, we're really excited to launch, and it's not up here yet because it's still very preliminary, but trustees, we have a lot of great folks working, like Mary and her exec board, and we also have our SISS, um, AAEA caucus, all working on special ed um, uh, concerns and improvement initiatives, and we really are seeing a beauty in bringing together an advisory group that would have representatives from uh, all of our stakeholder groups. So we're really excited. We think the Hanover Review and the next steps in the district are a perfect time to sit this committee. So we'll be talking about that more tomorrow. And so just watch for that coming soon. And then also uh, the Superintendent Teachers Advisory Group. Um, I have about, uh, I'm trying to remember the number, it's about 20 two or so teachers, and uh, we will have our next meetings on May 7th and May 21st, and the goal, uh, trustees, of all four of these, I'm sorry, all five of these newly convened advisory groups is to storm, form, and norm here in April, May, June, and then to be seated for two years. So these will be 2018-19 and 2019-20. And uh, as is stated in our policy trustees, we will bring uh, updates from those groups. But we will also, at the end of each year, clarify if a group is continuing or if the band is all finished with their work and, and not going to continue. That's what our policy calls for. And trustees will be doing more of that as we move through these next 10 weeks to wrap up the year. So in summary, I wanted to point out that we are making progress. And trustees, I know it's been frustrating at times because we've had so many of these that we wanted to launch. But I want to uh, say publicly how much we appreciate all the emails and letters from staff members, from parents, from students. Uh, who are willing to serve. It is a really special thing in Ann Arbor that folks will come and give of their time to help us make our work stronger and better. So um, in addition to the prior standing committees, we now have the four, or I'm sorry, five new advisory groups that are seating here in April, May, and June. Um, they will all be beginning with core values work, with foundational work. Uh, the assessment group is looking at all of the district assessments. Of course, that will take time, but they're starting with the month-by-month -month calendar that uh, we've been working on with the planning committee. So I just wanted to share with you, trustees, our progress this evening uh, as a regular progress update, and we're happy to receive any questions. And I will be regularly sending you emails on how our groups are proceeding. Thank you. Wonderful, Dr. Smith, thank you for that update.